Hi boys and girls, this is Miss Marta from the Fountaindale Public Library and welcome to week one of Let's Get Ready for Kindergarten. Today I am going to share with you some fun activities that you can do at home to get ready for your first day of kindergarten. And we're going to start out with reading a story called Mrs. Bindergarten Gets Ready for Kindergarten. And in this story, we're going to find out some ways that other boys and girls are getting ready for their first day of kindergarten. And this story is written by Joseph Slate. It is the first day of kindergarten and oh, 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 Adam Krupp wakes up. Brenda Heath brushes her teeth. Christopher Baker finds his sneaker. Mrs. Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Danny Hess rushes to dress. Emily Moko cools her cocoa. Fran Lister kisses her sister. Mrs. Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Gwen McGunny packs her bunny. Henry Fetter fights his sweater. Ian, um, Ian Lowe says, I won't go. Mrs. Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Jessie Syke pedals her bike. Kiki Wong hops along. Lenny Loom says, Vroom. Mrs. Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Maddie Lindo looks out the window. Ophelia Nye hugs goodbye. Noah Vaughn climbs right on. Mrs. Bindergarten gets ready for kindergarten. Patricia Packer sneaks a cracker. Quentin Wend high-fives his friend. Raffi Mack high-fives back. Sarah Von Wolf is the first one off. Mrs. Bindergarten is almost ready for kindergarten. Tommy Tucko jumps a puddle. Ursula Crew ties her shoe. Vicky Denso bites her pencil. Now Mrs. Bindergarten is all ready for kindergarten. Wanda Chin marches in. Xavier Rowe yells, hello. Yolanda Pond looks around. Zach Blair finds his chair. Good morning, kindergarten says Mrs. Bindergarten. And oh, 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 the fun begins. The end. I hope that you enjoyed the story. And now, boys and girls, I'm going to show you how to make your own kindergarten journal that you can use to draw pictures in and write words about how you are feeling about starting kindergarten. And for this activity, you are going to need some paper, a stapler, a pencil, and some markers. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to decide how many pieces of paper you want to use for your journal. So I think I am going to pick three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to line up all of my papers nicely together. And I am going to fold all the papers in half just like this and make sure I press on the crease so they're folded nicely together and now I'm going to use my staple stapler I'm sorry to staple all the sheets together so they can make a journal so I am going to put one staple on one side one staple on the other side and one staple in the middle so now our journal is made so, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a title on my journal. 
What a title. Okay, I think I'm gonna title my journal Miss Marta's Kindergarten Journal. What are you gonna title your journal? Miss Marta's Kindergarten Journal. Okay, so now I got my title. So now I'm gonna open my journal. And I am going to draw a picture of something that reminds me or makes me think of kindergarten. So I think I'm going to draw a picture of my school. What I think my school is going to look like. So I'm going to draw a picture of the building. Um, the building, I'm going to draw some windows. And a door. And I'm going to draw a roof for the school and I think we're gonna draw a playground too because I really like to play on the playground outside so I think I'm gonna draw some monkey bars because I hope my school is gonna have some monkey bars so I'm gonna draw some monkey bars and some stairs to go up on the monkey bars I'm also gonna draw a sun because I hope that it's going to be a nice sunny day on my first day of kindergarten and some clouds. And now that I draw my picture, I'm gonna use some markers to color my picture in. How is your drawing coming along? What did you decide to draw? Did you draw your school or maybe your teacher or your friends? I would love to see what you drew. So now I'm going to show you what my journal looks like. So on the cover, I wrote Miss Marta's Kindergarten Journal and I drew some stars and a wiggly line on top to kind of decorate it. And then on the inside, I drew a picture of what I think that my new kindergarten school is going to look like. And I drew my monkey bars and a sun because I hope it's going to be a pretty and sunny day on my first day and some clouds. And then on the top, I wrote about my picture. I wrote, I can't wait to play on the playground of my school. And after you draw your picture, maybe you can ask your mommy or daddy or your grown-up to help you write your words. For this activity, boys and girls, we are going to play a feelings game. So what we're going to do is we are going to make some cards with some um, different feeling emojis. So what you are going to need for this activity is some note cards, a pencil, and some markers. So what we're going to do is we are going to pick some feelings that we have. What are some feelings that we feel? We feel happy. We feel sad. We feel worried, right? These are some of the feelings. And there's probably more angry, excited, there's lots and lots of feelings that you can feel. So what we're going to do is we are going to draw our feelings um, on our note cards. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to draw a circle because that's going to be our face. We're going to draw some emojis. We're going to draw a circle just like that. And in there, we're going to draw, let's say I'm going to do um, a happy emoji. So I draw my circle. I'm gonna draw my eyes, and then I'm gonna draw my, my mouth. And now I have a happy emoji. What's another feeling that we can draw? Um, how about a sad emoji? So we're gonna draw another circle. We're gonna draw our eyes, and we're gonna draw a sad face. So I already drew um, a happy face, and I drew a sad face. And now I'm gonna use my markers and I'm going to color my faces. So what I would like you to do is pick some feelings and draw those feelings on a note card um, with an emoji. I drew some of my feeling emojis on my card. So I'm going to share um, three of them that I drew. I drew a sad face. I drew a worried face. And I drew a happy face. So these are some of the faces that I drew. So now what we're going to do is we are going to take our um, note cards and we're going to put them face down on 
our table in front of us. And for I'm this, put them around so we don't know which one is where. And now we're gonna pick out a face. So we're gonna pick it up. We don't know what it is because it is face down. So this face that I picked is a happy face. And now after you pick your faces, your feeling, you're gonna say, how is, um, what is something that is going to make you feel this way when you start kindergarten? So I pick that happy face. So when I start kindergarten, something that's going to make me feel happy is meeting my new teacher and meeting my friends. What is something that's going to make you feel happy when you start kindergarten? Face that I'm gonna pick is this one. And this one is a worried face. So what is something that's gonna make me worried when I start kindergarten? Hmm. I think I might be a little bit worried on the first day of school when I have to say goodbye to my mommy and she has to go to work and I have to stay at school with myself. I might feel a little worried and a little sad. Oh, and I'm gonna pick another card. Oh, this card is a sad face. Oh, what's something that's gonna make me feel sad when I start kindergarten? Well, I think I might feel sad if uh, my friends in my class don't want to share their toys with me. I think that might make me feel a little bit sad. What is something that would make you feel a little bit sad? So I hope that you can create these cards and draw your um, face, uh, your, emotion, uh, your emotion emojis on the cards and play this game with someone at home. That way you can kind of talk about your feelings and have fun with it. And now, boys and girls, we are going to play a fun game called Simon Says. And I bet that you already know this game. So this is a listening game. Because when we start a game, I'm just going to tell you the rules. So the rule is that you have to listen. And when I say Simon Says, you do what Simon says. But if I just say, um, if I just tell you how to do something, for example, um, Simon Says, touch your head. You're gonna touch your head. Simon says, touch your shoulders. You're gonna touch your shoulders. But if I say, um, touch your belly, you're not gonna touch your belly because Simon didn't say to touch your belly. So you have to listen to the part where it says, where I say, Simon says to do something. If I just say, touch your belly, touch your head, clap your hands, you're not gonna do it because Simon didn't tell you to do that. Okay, are you ready? Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, touch your head. Put your hands on your belly. Oh, I hope you didn't put your hands on your belly because Simon didn't say to put your hands on your belly. Miss Martha said to put your hands on your belly. Okay, let's try it one more time. Simon says, snap your fingers. Simon says, turn around. Um, move your arms. Oh, I hope you didn't move your arms because Simon didn't say to move your arms. Miss Martha said to move your arms. So now you can practice game, practice this game at home, maybe with your mommy or daddy or with your siblings because it is a fun. Thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. I hope that you can try some of the activities I showed you today at home because they are definitely going to help you get ready for your first day of kindergarten. I will see all of you next week. Bye-bye.